In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can create reusable components in Next.js and how we can style them as well. So the first thing is creating a component. You need to create it inside a directory called components. So here we have done so by creating a directory components and inside that we have created a file called button.js. Now inside button.js, what we have done is pretty much very easy stuff like just define a button and uh, the text will say destroy and here you'll note one more thing we have applied a class name called styles.error now from where this style is coming up is very interesting stuff so on top you will notice that we are seeing import styles from button.module.css now this button is the name of the component itself so what we are doing is we are creating modular CSS. So for every component, you can have your own version of this style by creating a module.css file, prefixing it with the name of the component. For instance, over here, we have a file called button.module.css, which is going to be used in button.js. So over here, what we are doing is we have created the CSS file in the usual way, just providing it some color and background color. And once that's done, you can see that we have used it by making use of the import statement and here we are accessing the error class as a property or attribute so we are saying styles dot error and uh, once that's done we are simply exporting this button now in order to use this component we'll go to our home.js file and here you can see we are using import button from component slash button and then we're making use of the button over here once we go to our terminal and here you can see when we are running npm run build it is compiling it successfully optimizing it and then when we are running the npm start command it's serving the pages at this location localhost colon 3000 and this is how the destroy button is looking i know it's not pretty but it does the job so let's inspect what exactly we have over here so you can see the class that is being applied over here is button underscore uh, score error underscore tbdif so in a way it automatically creates its own class just to ensure that there is no conflict with other existing classes that might have the same name and that's one of the reasons why we create the css file prefixing it with the name of the component and this behavior makes css modules the idle way to include component level css so that was about creating a component and creating a modular css for our components in next years.